Hey everybody, just want to give you all a update. Um, this is still the same day, day 74. I got these this um, piece colored, and I'm pretty happy with it. And I'm gonna go with what I've got here. I'm heading to the post office and gonna mail these three cards out. Um, I'll show you the others in case you didn't. Um, Y'all saw that one plenty of times. And there's the uh, second one I did. All right, heading to the post office, get these things in the mail. I'm out of here. Damn you, Columbus. Hey everybody, this is Kenny King, and this is day number 75 of 100 Days of Making Comics. 100 Days of Making Comics is where I take at least 30 minutes each and every single day to work on my Slayer comic book and other comic book related projects for the next 100 days. And I'm sure you already know this, but you gotta tell the people who are new to watching. Because I do have a few new subscribers, and I don't know where they're gonna jump in at. But I appreciate everyone subscribing and everybody that likes and comments and thumbs up or nah, no thumbs down. It's all thumbs up. Um, today set day 75, so what does that mean? Uh, well, we're three quarters of the way there, so um, thought I'd, like I did at day 50, I dug out some more old artwork and nothing I'm proud of, but. Just some stuff to share with everyone and show, you know, old stuff I've done and where I've, how I've grown as an artist and, um, you know, just some stuff that I did. Most of it was in my small press days. Some of it was a little earlier than that in high school. And um, I think it's it doesn't go any further back than that. Just probably when I was a teenager in high school. Um, most of it, though, was done, I would say, anywhere from 18 to you know, my late 20s in that range somewhere. Um, it's, this can be time consuming, so I'm gonna get started pretty quick, but I um, did wanna say that I did wrap up the Artist's Dreams sketch cards, and I got, I cracked a whip, and Sunday night I uh, knocked out two cards within, you know, 24 hours, um, just working all night on them. And once, you know, uh, yesterday's title was, uh, what was it? Deadlines, the great motivator, or no, the fail safe motivator. Um, because it never fails. When you got a deadline approaching and you're behind on things, that's when you do your best work. Well, not always your best work, but that's when you are the most productive and seem to, you know, you got to get it done, so you just, you just stay on it and uh, you become obsessed with it till you get it finished. And um, most of the time, it's, you know, it turns out really great, but every now and then you run into issues, but um, I, I'm pretty happy with the way the cards turned out. Um, I mailed them off yesterday, as you've seen in the earlier video. The post office was closed, and I, I all I do is work and come home and draw. I don't watch the news. I don't keep up with much of anything anymore because um, I'm just trying to focus on, you know, I've got to cut things out to just focus on my artwork. And, you know, even to get family time is hard, you know, you got to just squeeze everything in. And um, I didn't know it was Columbus Day. Um, I missed the memo on that. So, um, uh, luckily, wrap, pack, and mail was open. So, I went there. And it cost a little more to ship. And I'm not making anything off these cards. It's for charity. But, you know, I wanted to make sure I got them in in time. So, I had to dish out a few more extra bucks to get it out there but yeah no big deal um anyway let's move on to 
uh, some older work. Um, I was trying to find this stuff at day 50, and I finally dug it out. Um, this was a, a cool mini comic or small press comic. I guess it was a digest size. Wait a minute. It may have been, uh, no, it was a really odd size. It was almost magazine size. Kind of like um, between digest and magazine size. I think it was kind of odd shape. But it's called Cami and the Toad. And um, I did this pinup for a guy, Dan Kellaway. He was a, I think, a co creator. He was him and Ronson Butler. And I think they had another guy writing this story. But it was a cool space story. Um, manga type looking stuff um, but that's a pinup I did for him I think I just penciled it and I sent him the originals this is just my copy and um, I'm not even sure if he inked it or not uh, kind of lost contact with him but I thought it turned out really good considering it was done back in uh, looks like 2004 this is another small press book. Um, I think it was called Noble Heroes by um, Doug Freeman. And this was uh, a family of superheroes. The, I think it was the father, the mother, and the teenage son. Uh, I think it was called Noble Heroes. And I did this for him just to pin up. Um, this is a creation of my own. I have a color version of this somewhere. Maybe I'll post it if I can find it. Um, it's called Lampshade Man. Um, basically, he's a he's an alien from another planet with a light bulb for a head, and he crash lands here. It was going to be a kids comic, uh, and the family members is my family. You know, there's the bald guy Kenny King there and his kids. I don't know who the rabbit is. Um, I can't remember. I was, I think I wrote him into the story somehow. It was, you know, for you know, all ages friendly kids comic. Um, I never, I think I did a few pages of it and just kind of let it sit. Uh, I planned to come back to it, but never did. Um, I think I may have showed this in the actual book for Antilution Dreams. Uh, I think it was a pinup. It's for, um, um, Rodson Butler. This was another one. I'm not sure if I showed it or not, but these are the originals. It was, um, I think it was a swimsuit edition. It's what uh, all the cheesecake. Or uh, this was for J. Kevin Carrier. Um, it's a character of his. Uh, he has a book called um, Fantasy Theater, and this was one of his characters, the Reaper. And it's just a pinup I did for him. 05 is when I did this. Um, go back a little bit. Uh, this was for uh, James West. It was a book he did, small press book called, An I think it was Animalic or Animalac or something like that. Uh, but anyway, it was the main character. I think he only did a few issues of that. Then he moved on to um, a book called Pangea, and he uh, changed his art style a little more to a more cartoony feel, and uh, he's still doing that type of stuff now. Um, pretty cool stuff. It's all fantasy, sword and sorcery stuff. Real cool stuff. Um, wow, this looks like crap. This was a um, ink splatter effect I was trying for Tony Lorenz's um, Sniper comic. Uh, I actually had pasted some of this over to try to cover up a dark spot. I don't even think I sent him this. I don't know if I did or not. Can't remember. Um, getting old and forgetful. Okay, this was a little copied version. I think I went and tried to like blend in the splatter. But anyway. Um, I don't think I ever sent it in to him. Uh, that was a character sketch of Blade I worked on for a guy. I think I showed you the comics for that earlier. 
some of this stuff I've already showed you. We'll go ahead and show you this. This is a um, kids book I was working on. Um, it's a personal project. It's called um, Our Dog Rascal. Um, it's based off our actual pet rascal. He's passed away now, but um, it was something I was doing with my kids. They was helping me script the book, and we would sit at the kitchen table. You know, every you know, every few weeks we'd sit down and just brainstorm on ideas for rascal, and I would sketch it out. And uh, never, never did finish this. This is something I plan maybe to go back to one day when I have time. You know, um, but it's you know he was a cool little dog, and he could do all kinds of tricks, and it was pretty amazing. And I thought it would, you know, make a cool kids book. Um, actually, here's a poster I did. This is the colored version. Um, I was going to um, branch this off. This was done in 2009. Um, yeah, meet meet our dog Rascal right there. Um, I was going to, you know, do the uh, first book, Meet Our Dog Rascal, then have it branch off into other stories like, you know, Our Dog Rascal Goes to the Beach, Our Dog Rascal, you know, uh, Gets a Girlfriend, or whatever, you know, just different little stories, but um, that's something maybe I can get around to if I ever become, you know, a full-time illustrator. You know, and can't afford to uh, work on my own stuff. But right now, I just don't have the time. That's a copy. Um, this, both copies. This is a copy of original art. Um, Lazy Eye Guy. Um, what was the guy's name? Jeff Olson, I think. It was his character. Pretty funny character. Um, this was another one for. Oh, here he is. This was the original. Right here. Um, this was Antolution Dreams. Pin up for Ronson Butler. I think I may have showed this one before. Um, this is just some sick and twisted stuff I drew when I was a teenager. Probably 18 or 19. I think I actually sent it in for a guy for a magazine kind of a horror type magazine. I can't remember the guy's name. This is another pinup for um, Doug Freeman. I did this one before I did the Noble Heroes. This is actual character called Noble. It's based off of, I think it's the father in the uh, pinup I showed you earlier. That's back in 99. That's way back. Um, This was for Adam Owen, um, Jimmy, the accidental teleporter. Uh, it was a pinup for his mini comic. Um, I, don't, I don't know. He stopped doing those years ago. Then he went on to doing a character called Greenpeace. But um, I don't know what what he's uh, working on these days. Uh, this was for a pretty awesome book that I, I guess just kind of fell off. It was called Cry Freedom. And uh, all these people you see had different uh, issues they had to deal with. Um, and they all, I think they, was this was like a, they came together somewhere for counseling. And uh, it was a pretty interesting story, but um, uh, it never, I don't know what happened to it either. I think the guy lost his artist. And, um, you know, the book kind of just... You know, went fell into oblivion after that. I don't think he ever uh, revamped it. Um, this is Arachnine by Steve Roman. It's one of his small press characters. Steve Roman actually, I think, was a writer for Marvel Comics, but this was his small press side project he worked on. Um, Troy Hickman, he went on to do. Uh, this is from Holy Crawlers, which later went to Image. 
and became um, what was it called? Common Grounds. I think Troy Hickman. Hickman also wrote. Uh, he wrote several different things, some Witchblade stuff. But uh, this was one of his characters from his small press days, Mental Midget. You know, he had some funny characters. It's uh, a pinup I did for him. Um, we all know Spawn. That's uh, did this back in '98. That's really rough looking markers. Um, speaking of markers, um, just want to show you why you shouldn't draw with markers or ink with markers. Um, I actually just ran across these today. Originals. Um, like uh, here's a perfect example. These two pages here, all this is marked like Sharpie fine markers. Look how it's turned. The blacks have turned. They have a greenish bluish look to them now. And uh, that's why you shouldn't ink with markers. Plus it turns your pages yellow. Um, I think I showed you the X comic, Dark Horse comic, that I made it into the letters page with some fan art. Uh, here's another um, drawing I did of X and then hand lettered it. Um, I was a pretty big X fan back then. Um, this is going a lot older than the small press stuff. Uh, this is from my sketchbook back when I was, I was probably 18. You know, 1920. Uh, just sketching out hands, just drawing different angles of hands. Um, did the same thing with feet. Just practicing different ways to draw feet. I think this is actually from art class. This is a check. I would do these in art class for extra credit, free Kruger. So that's back when I was like 17 or 16 or something. Um, this was done in 98, it's just a uh, little cute drawing I did. I think I called it the magic sucker, you know, you know the kids had these great big suckers back in the day, you don't see that anymore. Um, this was in 96, it's a uh, dark, uh, I think it's like a really dark pencil drawing, just some kind of a uh, demon demon figure um, and last but not least uh, this was a Slayer turnaround um, a guy created um, Shocker toys back in early 2000s 2003 4 maybe 2006 but anyway and he emailed me uh, he was trying to get all the Indian small press independent comic characters and get a license to do toys of all of them. It was going to be called kind of the uh, Indie Spotlight. And he did two or three waves of them with the Tick. Um, he also did, um, I think he had Savage Dragon. I think they pulled out. He had, um, what was the other one? Um, I can't remember. Uh, I think he had Dick Tracy. Um, several other characters he got the license to do toys um, but I think they went under I think he had big dreams but I uh, didn't have the backing to uh, to push it but um, they was okay looking toys but I did this turnaround he wanted a turnaround for uh, you know the character to do the toys off of and uh, that's what I did but um yeah, it kind of, I don't think they're still around, or he may be still around, but he's trying to restructure the company and make another attempt at doing the toys again. Um, he did several in, independent comics. Uh, Madman, I think he did that, that toy. Um, he had a pretty impressive roster of characters, you know, from uh, independent creators. Uh, but just, I don't think it took off very well. He also had the Max. Um, it was a few more. Um, I'm probably about to run out of memory on my phone because these long videos tend to eat it up quick. 
Um, I'm going to wrap it up. I haven't done any work today, but I'm going to sit down and start messing around with um, page two of Slayer. I need to jump back on that. Um, I've put it off, put it off long enough uh, doing the sketch cards. Time to get back to work on that. Um, I do have to work tonight, but um, I'll try to pick back on it more tomorrow. I'm going to try to get my 30 minutes in. But that's it. Uh, I got to get off here and get to work and get back to sleep. Um, I'll talk to y'all later. I appreciate everybody watching and subscribing and liking, commenting, uh, motivating me to keep doing this. Um, I appreciate all that everyone does. All right. I'll talk to you later. Take care. Peace.